It's getting scary out there. Food shortages. And there's ample evidence that we may be experiencing that very soon. What will that do to the price of silver? What will that do to the gold price? I'm going to connect the dots for you in this video. But first, let's talk about this growing mountain of evidence that indicates that the United States, and even more so the world, could be facing a critical food shortages in the near future. My wife, Silver Susie, will tell you I am a real pinch penny. I'm real frugal. Some people may call that being a tight wad. I like to refer to myself as resourceful. Resourceful Ron. So when I go to the grocery store, I don't know how you experience this, but it has become painful. And I go to Aldi 90% of the time. That's a discount grocery store with high quality products. But the prices on everything have doubled. Imagine if six months or a year from now, you show up and there's less and less products on the shelves and we have even higher prices. And that's a real prospect for us in the near future because all the reports that we're getting are that food production, not just in the United States, but all over the world is falling off a cliff. We have drought conditions throughout most of the United States. As a matter of fact, in Kansas alone, they're predicting the worst wheat harvest in over 50 years. We like to talk about hyperinflation, where the cost of bread goes up five times over, let's say, a one-year period. Well, guys, we could see the price of bread double at minimum over the next one-year period. But that's okay. You'll just skip your toast with your morning breakfast. Maybe you'll have an extra cup of orange juice. Maybe not, because orange production in Florida down 50%. You know that jug of orange juice you buy at the grocery store now for $3.89? Imagine if you're having to pay 7 or 8 or maybe even $9 for that same jug of orange juice. Hey, you. Yes, you. When you show up here in the basement, you are not going to get any orange juice or bread for that matter, but I will give you camaraderie. I will give you friendship and a great appreciation that for wherever in the world you've decided to join me, I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. Give the video a thumbs up and thank you. Now, I may give you a stake? Well, maybe not, because on top of what we're hearing about corn and wheat, the United States cow herd is at its lowest level since the 1960s. 50 years ago, need I remind you, we had real silver in our money back then as well. But that's okay, because we're the United States. We'll just take food from other countries. That might become increasingly difficult because our friends to the north in Canada, they're in a drought as well. The wheat harvest from our friends in Australia, down by one third. And what about Ukraine? What about Central Europe, right? That's the breadbasket of Europe. That's where tons and tons of wheat and other crops are produced. Well, with the situation which is unfolded there, plantings have been way down and they're having a little problem with drought as well. So the whole world is actually facing an imminent food crisis. And it's going to become even more acute in the development world because a lot of those countries in Africa, other poor countries throughout the world, they can't produce their own food and many of them are in drought conditions even if they can. We could be moving into a period of mass turmoil because when people don't have food, they get very upset and very agitated. I love my dad. He's the best guy in the world, but we joke around with them because he gets very hangry, right? Hungry, angry. You need to keep his belly full, and if he doesn't have his dinner at a certain time, you can be dealing with a little bit of fallout, if you know what I'm saying. This could get nasty really quick, because think about it. We may have a large portion of the world that doesn't have food, and the people that do have 
access to food, the prices could be significantly higher. This does not look like a rosy scenario as we move into the next year or so. And that's just food alone. It could wreak havoc on the American family who's already struggling to just put food on the table. People are living paycheck to paycheck and can barely afford the food prices as they are right now. Imagine if things go up another 10, 20, 30, 50, 100%. It could wreak havoc on families, bankruptcies, and that would bleed through to the overall economy. But we don't have anything to worry about because this guy can come in and save the day like he always does. He just has to print a couple trillion dollars, distribute it to the people. That'll take care of everything. That'll also take care of the silver price and gold price. They love when our old friend Jerome fires up the printing presses. It's inevitable, guys. When we look at the big picture, geopolitically, what's going on in the world, domestically, just in the United States, from an economic perspective, from a political perspective, from a monetary perspective, from a fiscal perspective, when we look at everything and see the forest through the trees, we see a big pot of gold and silver right on the other side. I appreciate you joining me today. Please go watch a live stream and I'll see you soon.